What's up, all you beautiful, beautiful people? Thank you for coming back and joining me for a mukbang. Today, we have tampoki, spicy rice cake, and a nice gooey tampoki sauce. And then I added some ramen to it. Uh, the ramen is actually miso ramen, but I didn't add a pack because all this has so much flavor already. There's really no need to. And then I have some Chinese style sausages. Um, I have some steamed pork buns, kimchi, cucumber, kimchi and cucumber always. And then I have some hoisin sauce and some peanut sauce. Um, I don't know. I like to dip my sausages in different stuff. And I have some Thai tea and then my ice, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and get that open. Oh, orange deliciousness. I love it. Mm-hmm. So good. Let's dig right on in. Mmm. If you've never had rice cake, you're missing out. Mmm. Mm. So chewy, spicy, and sweet. Mm-hmm. Mm. So how are you all doing? Mmm. These things are freaking amazing. <clears throat> There's this store that we go to, and they used to sell them. Somebody bought the store, and their Asian aisle slowly, slowly decreased. Like, when something would sell out, they wouldn't restock it. And these are one of the items that they didn't restock. So I was all bummed out, like, I'm going to have to order them online. But, the other store I was telling you about, we found them there. And we found a bunch of different varieties of them. I was so happy. So happy. <clears throat> oh, yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. The buns are pork. I haven't tried that brand, but my boyfriend tasted them and said that they're so good. He said those are his favorite so far. So we shall buy them from now on. Because I don't know if you're like me, but once I get, once I like something, I kind of get stuck on it. Bumble. Mmm. Mmm. I am so enjoying this. Focus. 
Focus. There we go. Mmm. Mmm. Let's try out one of these buns. Ooh, look at that. Mmm. Mmm. He was right, they're so good. A little dry though. Oops, I should have cooked it right before I was gonna eat. But it's still very good. The little corners are a little dry for me. We're just gonna put that over there. Nose is running because it's spicy. So, my friends and I went to this makeup blowout sale group on, um, <laughs> I believe it's on Facebook. Anyways, they go from city to city and I had mentioned it in one of my previous videos that I was going to go. And, um, it was mm, not what I expected. It was a lot of makeup to me that you would find at, like, a swap meet flea market. Um, they had some, they had some good stuff. They had really good deals on lashes. It was like $2 a pair. Which, that's what they sell them for at the swap meets also. Um... I thought it was going to be a lot bigger. My fingers just aren't working today. I thought it was one of those places where you can go like get like big brand makeup for like cheaper, you know? It was nothing like that. And then by the time that we went. Every color of like matte lipstick or something that I wanted. Of course, the color that I wanted was sold out. Why does that always happen to me? I swear, every time I go somewhere, I'm like, ooh, I'm going to get this, I'm going to get that. Nope, sold out. Maybe that just shows that I have good taste. Who knows? But... I was super disappointed. My friend got her makeup done. She was getting her makeup done the whole time we were there. So me and my other friend were like, 
We've already walked around like four times and she's still getting her makeup done. Me, myself, being a makeup artist and doing makeup, in the time that they took doing her makeup, I could have had three, four girls done already. So we were kind of like, um, what's really going on? Then, they tell her she's done. She had no eyeliner on, no mascara. They pretty much did her brows, foundation, contour. I don't even think they put blush on her. She was so disappointed. She was like, I should have just did my own makeup instead of going and getting it done there. Which, I mean, I kind of told her, like, why don't you have makeup on? And she said, I'm going to get my makeup done at the convention or whatever it's called. So then, she's all done and she's like, ugh, I don't like it. So then she walks around for like 10 minutes and is like, alright, let's go. Home girl. The whole purpose was to go and shop. And she got some shitty ass makeup done. But. What are you going to do? I wasn't about to spend my money on cheap makeup. Not that I don't wear cheap makeup or I don't use it. I have, I'm not one of those high-end yuppies, oh, all my makeup has to be high-end. No. There was a time when I didn't have high-end makeup and I still made it work. People would ask me, what kind of foundation are you using? What kind of eyeshadow are you using? Half the times I'd say, it's from the 99 cent store. Because I couldn't afford the high-end makeup. I had to make do with what I had. So I'm not knocking anybody who uses drugstore, low-end makeup. I'm not. I still have a lot of it in my collection, too. There's just some things that work really good. So I didn't buy anything. I did not buy anything except for lashes. And um, I was really disappointed. I picked out a bunch of lipsticks for my friend. I was going to get a straightener, and she did a demo on my friend's hair, and it worked really good, but by the time we left, I was just like ready to go. I didn't want to walk all the way back there and get it. So, it was fun. And you know what? I feel like I was the only person in there who really had my makeup done. Oh, this got really hard. It's not even soft. A lot of the women I notice because I people watch. A lot of them didn't have their makeup done. Um, and I mean, of course, I'm going to have my makeup done because me and my friends were going out after that. I can't pick it up. Um, but it just seems like the people that were there weren't really that into makeup.
which is fine, but me personally, I'd rather go to like a beauty con or something like that so I can meet some YouTubers and really um, get good deals on high-end makeup. So after we left that makeup blowout cell thing, we went to Applebee's. Um, I got the wonton tacos. Those things are so good. Like, I'm going to try to, um... Make them. They were so good. It was like a crispy wonton shell in the shape of a taco. And then chicken. And it tastes like it was in like a sweet chili type sauce. And then, um, and then it had like coleslaw, not coleslaw, it had just like chopped up cabbage. With some type of sauce. And then a lime to drizzle over the top. It was so good. Oh, yeah. You know, I was going to cook two packs. I'm glad I didn't. Mmm. Mmm. So good. But they were little. And they puffed up a lot. Mmm. Cucumber with soybean paste. I could eat this like a snack all day. It's so good. Oh! It's hard to hold chopsticks with long nails. It was a little salty. Cause you can't grip them as good. I would have to say that it's like one of the hardest things to do with long nails. <coughs> and <laughs> all my long nail divas know what I'm talking about. When you go to put your um, card in and you have to pull it out really fast, talk about the struggle is real. Mm. Mm.
these little things are filling. Mm. Oops. I keep hitting them. There we go. The tripod. It's at my feet. Mmm. If you guys never tried these, and these are what they are. Will it focus? They're the Kam Ying Jung Jung Chinese style sausage. They're sweet, they're salty, they're, oh, they're just so good. And I'm so happy that I found them again. They're just a little added. I, I wait. They're just a little added um, flavor to, you know, any dish you eat. Um, I want to try it with a seafood boil, but mm, I don't know if that would go so good. Have you guys seen the mukbangs with the long rice cake, like this big? I don't know how they do it. Those little things are so filling. I'm not going to eat this other one. I think I cooked it too early. I don't know, but it, the flavor is really good. It's just the texture is not what I'm used to. I swear I don't eat this messy in real life. For some reason, it only happens whenever I'm feeling me. <sighs> Always dropping stuff all over me. I need a knife. But I had a knife right here, I guess not. I can even dip into this peanut sauce. The hoisin sauce is just so good. And with that sausage, they have the same. Is hoisin sauce Chinese? Hong Kong? Yeah. Hong Kong's in China, right? I should know that, huh? Yeah, Hong Kong's in China. Because our local restaurant we have is called Hong Kong, and it's Chinese. Not that stupid. Or at least I would hope not. Mm. I'm already getting full. I feel like such a weak sauce, I swear.
you guys have any tips on how to stretch your stomach? I would assume just eating more, right? I try, but... Whew! I swear I always want to tap out so soon. Oh. And that's it for the kimchi. Hmm. I'm tapping out, you guys. I'm full. I'll let my boyfriend finish all this. <sighs> One more. Last sausage. We'll do the peanut sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. All right, all you beautiful people. I am done. I can't do no more. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Share. Leave me a comment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you guys will be notified every time I upload a new mukbang. If there's anything you want to see, anything you want me to try, any challenges you want me to do, let me know. Let us just know. Um, and yeah, that's it. This was a delicious, delicious meal. I enjoyed it, and I wish I could have enjoyed it more, but <sighs> you guys already know. So I will see you all on the flip side. <laughs>